So I have finally finished up editing a new intro for the vlogs. I spent a ton of time trying to find just the right music, just the right clips, just everything, just to make it so it would fit together as well as I hope it did. So I know that you guys have been asking for a new intro for a while now and I'm really, I'm actually relieved that I have it out now. Let me know what you guys think and um, let's check it out. Every time I say that, I think of Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams when he had the cake on his face and he's like, hello! Miss Helen? The water's boiling. Hello! A little bit uh, over-enthusiastic, I guess. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. Patriots versus Seahawks in Glendale, Arizona. That's literally the only thing I've been hearing all morning long on the TV. My parents are watching the Super Bowl at home and I am headed to Seattle to hang out with a few friends and party for the game. Currently, it's raining, so party, party. I am supposed to, my friend texted me, my friend Ray, whose house we're going to, uh, she texted me this morning. Oh, there's a cop. We're good. She texted me this morning, she's like, hey, I need you to bring something. Can you bring me a baguette? And I was like, okay. So um, we're gonna stop at like Safeway on the island or something and pick up a baguette, but also try to hunt down some Seahawks gear. I actually don't have any. I have a jersey somewhere, but I, I don't think I brought it up with me. I think it's in Las Vegas. Yeah, I don't have any Seahawks stuff with me. My mom threw like a Seahawks 12th man shirt at me as I was out the door. So I have a shirt, but it's huge. Like it's way too big. If I can find another alternative, that is the plan. I made, <laughs> I was gonna do a blog post on this last night, but it ended up being too much of a hassle. I, I made a bacon wrapped dates and they're incredible but they it took so much effort to actually make them that I didn't film it last night because I was too frustrated I was like Meh, this is this is too much work for me so I also passed my marketing exam yesterday which is fantastic so I have one more exam on Wednesday I think that I'm like not ready for it all so I need to hardcore study for that but not today because it's Seahawks Sunday so we're going to watch the game and study tomorrow. Once I finish that class I will have only five classes left until I have my bachelor's which is pretty exciting I think. I did like my hair and makeup today but it's raining outside I don't I didn't even bring my raincoat so this could be halfway miserable. Also, I'm busing in Seattle. I have to take the bus up to Ray's house. So I haven't taken the bus in like years since I went to Seattle Central. So I don't know how the routes are at this point and I don't know how much it is, but I brought lots of change and a couple dollar bills. So hopefully that'll cover me. Hopefully I have everything I need and hopefully I have enough time to stop and get a baguette and a Seahawks shirt. So we're gonna see and I will see you guys soon. Check it out, there's the 12th men flag. Hey. Look this at that. Oh, there we go. That's so cool. <laughs> it's flying the opposite direction though, so now it just looks like 21. So we're basically God, playing Where's Waldo so with all the 12 Everything flags, but check it out. Okay, look, this is what I can see right now. There's a 12 on top of the space needle for the 12th man. There's one on the crane over there. There's, there's <laughs> one in the building. There's a 12 right there. There's a 12 on that crane, if you can see it right there. There's a 12. Hold on. Is the lights more? in the building. You probably can't see it on the camera though. Yeah, the There's light, the light, this building lights up with a big 12, but you can't really see it right now during the window. daytime. There's a hawk right there. Look, there's a boat. Hey, stop. Oh wait, there's a 12 right there too, next to the hawk. And then there's a 12 on this barge thing right there. And then there's one over there on that barge. On the barge. Oh my gosh, there. there's a 12 right there too. Oh my God, this is so much fun. There's flags on all those buildings over there. No, oh, that's not a, that's a P. That's like a parking crane or something. Oh, there's a 12. We're at the Starbucks, like right off the boat, and my bag is too heavy, so I'm putting it down for a break right now. And they have Seahawks Frappuccinos, if anybody wants one. Or I guess, yeah, Seahawks Frappuccino. We are 12. And it's a vanilla bean frappuccino with blueberries, and it has green mocha chips on top. 
Well, but it is for the Super Bowl. Like, it's a one-time deal. Unless we go again next year, which we will. <laughs> I don't know about that. Has it ever happened three times in a row? No. Ooh. That's our goal for next first. year. Could be the first. Pete Carroll, if he wins today, will be the first person to win back-to-back -back college championships and um, oh. NFL championships. Oh, there, fancy It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be tough. I'm scared. I hope we make Brady choke. That'll be awesome. It's going to be pretty close and pretty intense. Oh. And the city's going to be crazy tonight, no matter who wins. So. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't think I want to be down here if we lose. That'd be scary. It'd be scary. Probably riots. Yeah. <laughs> People are going to be agitated. People are going to be a little Everybody bit Everybody knows it's going to be a close game, so whoever wins it will be awesome, but it better be us. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Who's that? That's cute. Very whiskey. <laughs> okay. A little fat. Very fashionable. You know what, though? Honestly, he's, 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 he's not that fat. This cat is the best cat in the entire like world. He's really not what's, what's his name, Ray? Moby. Moby. He's really not that fast. No, Look at all this amazing fast. food we have. It's yeah. so I'm like, good. I'm ready to pass oh. out. Right? <laughs> we haven't even had chili yet. Yeah. I, know. I, did. I, I did. Oh yeah, you did. did. Chili's at halftime, and which we're actually Lights. very close to. Come on, Hawks! Oh! Yeah. Because the guys, yeah. you guys are doing some Dairy Queen after the game. Really nice. oh. <laughs> so it's officially halftime now, I think. We got this chili that I'm going to totally dive into here in a second. And then hot dogs. Those are the biggest hot dogs. I know. I've seen in a really long time. We got Katie's yummy dates. Yeah, the dates, the bacon They're wrap dates, yummy. which I made last night, and it didn't like. It was. So much food. They were so annoying to deal with, though. And then I also grabbed Doritos for like chips if we wanted. So I want to make nachos. That's what I always do. That's why I bought the Doritos. We still have so much food. I'm already so full, though. Also, I got up because I wanted water. So it's a tie game right now. It's like 14 to 14. It's a really yeah, even game and really too. intense. <laughs> With bacon, you always have to wash it. I love bacon. So glad Katie's in Washington. Yay! Wow, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yeah. That's so nice. We're trying to watch the commercials, but the commercials so far have been really emotional and not funny at all. Like they've been so touching, which is fine. But I want to cry. I know. Like I feel like, like, uh, like I just want to cry because they're so sweet. So. Oh. Coherent for the win. Game, you know, he's the one that sort of broke it open. Sure. I can't even watch anymore. I don't even watch. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what happened? He caught it. No, it did. What? Oh, my God, it counted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't hit the ground, 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 don't hit the so gross right now but I finally made a new intro 
and a new end slate for the vlogs. It, I was up till 2 in the morning doing it all because I had to find the music because I like to find the music first and then match the the clips, like the actual video to the music. It took me forever to find the perfect music because I'm just picky. Yeah, so that took forever and then I finally like started to chop it all up and I needed to chop up the song because the original song is like four minutes long and I obviously needed to cut it down way long, way shorter than that because you can't have like a four minute long intro that would, that would suck. I chopped it up a little bit and I made two versions. One is 10 seconds longer than the other. So now I have like two different intros to use like whenever like they switch up between them or something. I don't know. I'm just glad it's done with. It's finally over and uh, now it's nice. Now I'm, I'm actually excited. The one that I we've been using for the vlogs has been our vlog intro for like the entire time we've been on YouTube. I think the only like the first two videos that we ever uploaded I think are the only ones without an intro and the other ones all have the same intro and it's like hmm a little bit overboard with that intro there it's nice to have a new one yesterday first thing in the morning I woke up and I think I yawned like way too big and I I like cut like the corner of my mouth and it hurts so bad but anyway it's 11 o'clock in the morning um it's really nasty outside like it's pouring out it's been pouring for the past two days I am spending my morning kind of studying and just getting ready for the test because the last clip that you saw was like Super Bowl Sunday and I said that my next test was that Wednesday but I wasn't prepared for it I wasn't ready for the test to be then so I delayed it until tomorrow and if I'm being honest I might delay it again just because there's a lot of material that I have to cover in a very short amount of time that's what I'm doing today and the class is hold on I gotta pull it up really quick it's called OBC1 and essentially what it is is it's a class that tells you how to be a manager and how to ethically interact with your employees in a way that doesn't offend anybody and in a way that is legal and motivates them and everything like that. It's basically how to interact with your company basically. Which seems silly to me because a lot of it seems like it should be common sense but then you read some of these things and it's like hmm that's actually not that... I, I'm glad they're explaining it to me because I, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> yeah, so I have to study that today and um, I'm meeting up with a friend for coffee at like like one or two so I need to like shower and get clean up. Wow, it's already almost noon though. Am I gonna have time to study before then? Yeah, I'll study just a little bit and take a shower and get cleaned up and then we're gonna go hang out and get some coffee. <laughs> so I'm feeling a lot better now that I've like done my hair a little bit and did my makeup a little bit and I decided to get out of the house today before I'm supposed to meet up with my friends to get coffee um, and just kind of decided to walk downtown and there's this really nice little walkway and it's right on the water. It's pretty. Do you guys see the Vikings in front of me? <laughs> so I got these candles at Target. Whoa, that is hot. Wow, that was kind of stupid of me. This one is spice covered and this one is apple berry spice. And I have like this, I am frustrated with Target. Well, actually anywhere, anywhere's candles only because I really, really like the the fall time scents like the ones that smell spicy and warm and homey and kind of like i just really like that smell and it just feels like home everybody gets rid of those scents after fall time and i wish they were like year round because those are the only candles i buy i only like the ones that smell kind of spicy and warm and cinnamony that's like my favorite kind of candle of all time and these are the only two that i could find that fit that category spice cupboard is the one that's burning right now and it's not even like my favorite smell of all time. It's a little bit too sweet for me. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for like candles that I could get in February that smell like fall time, leave them in the description bar down below because I want to know because I I love fall time candles <laughs> so much and I miss them. I miss that time of year. You guys wanna know something crazy too? Here, I'll show you. We finally reached the halfway point or past the halfway point in fact on when Blake gets home. I'm just hoping the rest of the deployment goes as quickly as the first half has because I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how 
well everything has been going. We can talk pretty frequently. We can, we Skype as often as we can. It's not every single day, but it's, it's often enough that I'm not worried about it. He luckily deployed to a location where the internet is pretty good. We're in contact pretty frequently and I'm just really glad that it's as smoothly as it has been going. And cross your fingers, hopefully the last half of this deployment goes as quickly and as smoothly as everything has so far. <laughs> anyway, I am just sitting down editing the vlog. I am almost done, so I'm gonna get going. If you guys haven't seen the last vlog, which will actually be linked in the end slate, the brand new end slate, which you're gonna see here in about like, well, I don't know how long. It depends on how long I talk. But here in just a second, <laughs> in that video, I actually announced that we got a Facebook page, which just gives us and me and Blake both another medium to connect with you guys if you are big Facebook users. So that link will be in the description bar, as well as our Twitter, Instagram, and all other social media that I'm sure you guys are already in the know about. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the intro as well. I had a ton of fun making them. There's two of them. This one was actually the longer version. There's another one that's a little bit shorter. You guys have been asking me for a new intro for what feels like forever and it was so overdue. So I'm so glad I finally got that out there. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like the end slate, which you're just about to see. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have an amazing week and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.